My name is Carlos, I am the developer of the Interactive World Maps plugin. In this video I will give you a quick overview on how to use the plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, you should see the Interactive Maps menu entry. The Manage Maps, Add New Map and Settings options. In the Settings page, you'll find the visual settings, the default visual settings on the left, as well as the default map settings, and more advanced settings on the right. Uh, these are basic options that they will be filled up by default when you build a new map and the more advanced settings all of them have a short description telling what they do but I want to bring your attention to two of them the first one being the Google Maps API key field most of the maps will need an API key field an API key to work so it's a good idea to set up this first in another video I will tell you how to generate an API key, but if you follow this link, it should be easy to get one, and then you should copy and paste it here. Another option I want, I want to bring your attention to is the HTML tooltips. By default it's disabled, but if you want to use HTML in your tooltips, tool like uh, styling your text or maybe add an image to your tooltip, you should enable this, this option. I'll go ahead and save the changes. And now I will quickly add a new map just to so you have an overview of how to use the plugin. I will add the name world map example, just a description for this map. Uh, here is the visual settings that you can leave the default and they will load the default settings you have on the settings page, or you can choose the custom settings and here you will have the option to customize these settings. Uh, I will region to display is where you choose what you want to display. There are hundreds of maps you can choose from including continent maps, subcontinent maps, but for this example I will just use the world map. I will leave the display mode in regions and the active region action. I will want the map to display content below the map when the region is clicked. Um, when you change the display mode, notice that the information below changes. This is because when you change, it will provide you instructions on how to use the interactive region section, depending on the display mode you choose. So be sure to read the instructions um, because they will be useful. I, I will want to use the regions display mode because I want to color countries in this case. Uh, be sure to read the instructions as I mentioned before. And now let's go through in interactive regions. So in the region code, one question I get asked a lot is where do I get the region codes from? So up here in the instructions you will find a link to a Wikipedia page where you'll find a list of all the region codes, but basically they are the two-letter um, region codes, country codes in this case, because I'm using a world map and I want to call it countries. And But depending on what you choose, what uh, region to display and the display mode, the region code might differ a bit, so you should always read the information that is written here. So for example, the region code for the, U the US would, would be US the two-letter code, will, the title I will call it United States of America two-tip two information the action value is the, the content in this case that will display below map the content for the United States States that will display the loading your map. Uh, just choose a different color here just for to show you how to do it. And I added the new entry. And you can see the preview already has United States colored with the color I chose. I can to edit the entry, I just click the little pencil icon and then you'll have the option to even customize a bit further the information on the tooltip and the action value. So you'll see now United States is in bold because I 
click the gold button. I will add another entry. So, for example, for France, the two letter code will be FR France tooltip info the content to display when I click France. We'll add another color, maybe blue. And the preview, here it is, and it's highlighted with the information. Um, I could go on and add more countries, but for now I will create the map. And you'll notice there's a new message up here, which will provide us the short code that we can use on our posts and pages. I'll go ahead and select it copy it and now I'm going to create a new page I'll call it world map and here I will paste the short code the short code can be whatever you need, you need it to be you can add content in your page and then add the short code or even if you're using a page builder you can add the short code in a text widget or text component for example so I'm gonna go ahead, this is a world map example. I'm gonna publish the page quickly. Open the page. Here it is. So I'm just using the default WordPress theme. And we can see the map with the two countries that I added information to. And when I click one country, here it is, the content that I added in the action value field. This is for France, this is for the United States. And here it is, just a very quick overview on how to use the plugin. I will try to cover more features in other videos, like how to create a maps, map with markers, or how to um, do different kinds of things with the plugin.